Hi, I'm Brian Barker, Strategic Farmer for the East, um, for the AHDB, and welcome to the Strategic Farm Week. Uh, I think this is the last session of the week, uh, the last webinar, and um, we're going to be talking about the mould drainer and soil loosening. Um, we do a lot of mould draining, have done over the previous years, and we've had knowledge passed down from my grandfather to my dad, to my employees, to myself, and it's always good to have that refresher, just to realign your mind in how best to operate these machines coming into the busy season. And after this winter, we've had a lot of rainfall, there's been a lot of waterlogged soil. And so I'm sure that many people are looking at doing a little bit of mould draining. So it's great that Philip Wright's agreed to join us on this webinar and give us a few um, gems and impart his knowledge onto us because um, it is a key um, topic when you consider that this is probably the deepest cultivation that most farmers would actually do in a cereal rotation. And if we do it badly or incorrectly, then we're actually going to do more damage at a depth that we can't rectify it. And so this is why a mould draining masterclass I thought was key and it's timed it well with such a wet, uh, wet winter that we've had. Um, so it's going to be fascinating to hear about the ratios of bullet and expander and different soil textures, blades, um, twin beams, single beam, three point linkage or draft control, all this sort of stuff. It's, it's going to be fascinating to hear what um, Philip's got to say. So we're really looking forward and thank you for um, him to sort of um, give his time up today. Also thinking about soil loosening, we've had a really dry spring and um, I'm sure that many people have noticed that crops have struggled. Rooting has been um, probably um, not great this season because of the wet winter. Roots haven't gone to go and find moisture until now. Now they're starved of moisture because they haven't got that moisture. And maybe was it because they didn't have the ability to get the roots down there. But most important thing is you need to get your spades out. Um, look, dig up a few holes, see what you've got. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm confident that we haven't done much damage on our farm because we've been very patient and um, sort of didn't want to, we knew that we could do damage and so we've been very careful not to. And when we were drilled, we dug a whole load of holes um, coming out of winter, the soil condition looked quite good under neck, under underneath at depth, but it was the actual slumping of the surface which has caused more problems and the top's gone rock hard, really crusted off. My father calls it the, um, the creme brulee of soil conditions where you get that crust on top, and wet soup underneath of soil. Um, and so now looking forward, do I need to do a little bit more um, managed um, soil loosening? Um, I don't want to be heaving it all up, stirring it all up because I'm trying to manage my black grass um, and trying to do fleet establishment, so five centimetre, um, discs over the top like carrier discs, I roll it back down again get the flush but in certain situations I know they've got to go a bit deeper. I've got two different drills, a, a strip till drill, a DTS, so I can drop a, a non-winged tine a little bit deeper to create some shatter when it's hard um, and then I've got my disc drill which is a low disturbance so once we've done the early cultivations I can then establish my crops with low disturbance and then roll it back down again. That's my sort of idea of a perfect autumn but it never works like that. Last year we did have to do quite a lot of ploughing and putting quite a lot of crops in with the combination drill. So um, a flexible system is my approach um, but we've got to be careful not to sort of try and get stuck with that one system and so I've tried to have all the different systems at my um, disposal. The plough, minimal sort of um, minimal tillage. Um, I don't call, I don't like that word minimal tillage. Um, one man's minimal is another man's maximum. Um, so we try and do non-inversion tillage at to a centimetre, five centimetre depth, and um, and then strip till and direct drilling in the right scenarios. Um, so we've got all the the different styles, but when we have to move soil it's knowing when to do it and I'm sure Philip Wright again is going to give us some real interesting insights into when we should be going a bit deeper and what machines we should be using, what type of time, what type of disc and I'm sure it's going to be a fascinating forum of discussion. So send your questions in, I'll be online, um, Teresa will be online and um, Philip will be and I'm sure David Lord who's done a video of mould draining this year who will be um, showing and passing some of his knowledge as well so it's going to be a fascinating time so please enjoy it um, if you're watching it on record then see what other people have asked and if you need any other questions then please feed it through to the AHDB. Hope you've enjoyed Strategic Farm Week 
and we'll see you soon.